Hey people, I'm scared. Let's do this. So I passed one more turn since my last part, uh, just because I want to be ready with these elephants uh, to go next turn. And I've prepared my cities with the uh, tax collectors. Ooh, we should probably get just a little bit more than this, I think. We need as much money as possible. Eight goes to... Oh, that doesn't accomplish anything. <laughs> How about here? 11 turns into 11. Fifteen turns into sixteen. Okay, good. Anyway, so now we call up the Russians, and we wines and oh, I need to declare war on Portugal first. Okay. Oh boy, <laughs> this is the scary part. Okay. <laughs> call up Portugal. Oh, and they just hit the industrial era last turn. Just BTW guys, but they're not a scientific civ, so they do not get a free tech. So we got some time before they get riflemen. It's good we're starting this war now, though. So there's like a moment, maybe, of, of vulnerability. So with Russia, we offer wines, astronomy, and 185 gold per turn. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. We do want astronomy. Uh, we do need these techs. Uh, no, is there any more blood that we can squeeze from the stone Thirteen. Fourteen. yeah okay <laughs> and is that it twelve 14? Oh, nice. Sweet. Yeah, the city's pretty corrupt, so we're getting a lot out of this. And now we go to Russia. Maybe this will be enough. 191 for furs and astronomy in exchange for 100 gold? 200 gold? 300 gold? 700 gold? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll see if there's any more per turn I can get, since clearly this is costing me quite a bit. 16. 17. Oh, okay. 17. 18. 20. Perfect. Okay, and any anything in Delhi? Nah, anywhere where there's one commerce. We're in a golden age, so we get two commerce. Uh, any tile that has at least one. So there's no corruption in Delhi, so. Oh, nice. We got some here, too. Okay, so this should do the trick. It won't do the trick, but it'll get us a little closer. <laughs> okay, 197. Wines, Portuguese, and astronomy. Oh, could I just go for banking instead? Nope. Ah, uh, no. Maybe I can get some of this back by making uh, deals with other civs in exchange for astronomy. Maybe they don't have it. 240. Yeah, that's. I can do. Yeah, I get like that in almost one turn, so that's not too big of a deal. Uh, furs and astronomy. Great. So, uh, I got two roads I gotta take out. Sorry for that mine. Uh, Jaipur. Oh, actually. I can do a double here. That's very helpful. So we, uh, we're we not doing the military lands anymore, so we should have a bit more to offer in relative terms. 96. Oh, nice, and we can get the gold this way. Sweet.
and we pillage again and we get our gold back and everybody's happy Now, did I have... Oh, so we lost... When we did that, we lost whatever luxuries we were getting from the Russians. So I think we're actually going to buy those back. Um, yeah, that's pretty cheap. Sure, that's fine. Uh, actually, you know what? We probably want to keep on doing this trick and exploiting more gold out of them and more techs. So we'll talk to America and England. They got nothing. How about you, England? Huh, you got money. I'm not going to say no to a free 44 gold. And Arabia is still being Arabia out there. Completely broke. I don't know. Is there anything we can do to help? I, I guess maybe we can give them map making and then they'll go for harbors and they can grow their city and have more commerce. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them map making and hope that solves some of their problems because we don't want them to be ridiculously weak. Like militarily, they have a strong military. Um, It's just they have such a strong military that they're drowning in unit support costs. And they don't have 500 IQ like me and plant their cities like this. If they filled in the gaps between their cities, like one here, 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 maybe not there. <laughs> they need that. It's their one bonus grassland. <laughs> but yeah, if they fill in the gaps, they'd have more unit support and they'd actually have an economy going. They don't, though, so that's on them. Okay, I think we do need to... Oh, this is already pretty high. Eh, how much will this cost us? Oh, only 10 gold. Uh, maybe it's only 10 gold because our tax revenue is really low, though. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. We should be doing this in order. Uh, yeah, let's do that, I guess. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. You need a courthouse, dude. I'm sorry. That's just unacceptable. I'd slave for two. No, do not do that. Ooh, that can also be fixed. Let's go for a courthouse here too. So yeah, this big stack will just wait. And you know what, you guys can wait here too, just in case Barcelona flips. Uh, we do need... Let's actually send some warriors down to Barcelona or to the, the cities up here in general just so we can uh, extinguish. Sorry, we can extinguish the, uh, the resistance in Madrid, for example. Madrid should be fine since its borders have expanded, but uh, Barcelona is probably going to flip again. You heard it from me first here, guys. Uh, I think Bombay is the priority city since we're building Forbidden Palace there. Okay. Uh, let's make sure I didn't turn on... Okay, anime paddles in between. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. Wow, that was actually... 
Are you fucking with me? Holy shit. I just lost an elephant to that. And my other elephant got bombarded. Holy, this is going to take longer than I thought. Okay, I guess being at war increases the, the probability of a flip. Ugh, that cost me a spearman and a war elephant. That's such a pain in the ass. Okay, uh, well, let's keep on seeing what we can get out of the Russians. Hundred and eleven, that's not bad. Ooh, we're getting close. Much better. Ah. <laughs> okay. How about now? Oh, we don't... You know, the only tech we need for ear advancement is metallurgy of the ones she has. And metallurgy is not actually... It will cancel that Statue of Zeus. Uh, and we want more units out of the Statue of Zeus because we really need units right now. So let's... Uh, I guess we'll take navigation for the fuck of taking navigation. And for the gold. Uh, but after that, we'll we'll just chill for a bit. Uh, we might as well get printing press too while we're. <laughs> I mean, we can do a double, so we might as well do a double. Can we get metallurgy? Oh, huh, we can't even get metallurgy. Yeah, uh, so let's. Did we? Uh, yeah, okay, we wanted to buy uh, a luxury. Ah, come on. <laughs> okay. 300 for gems. That's good. Okay, it looks like this looks fine. Ooh, Daka needs some work done. Much better. And we can actually probably turn down the luxury slider for doing this. Oh, I could have just turned down the luxury slider in general. To <laughs> solve, uh, to make the diplomacy better. Okay, we got a worker. Nice. It's not even my worker, <laughs> so we don't pay maintenance on it. Key. Okay. Uh, so let's get a city all the way up here. Ooh, that is awfully close to the Portuguese, though. Yeah, we'll do the city here first. Sweet. So uh, we're not running into the unit support cap. 
It's fantastic. Ooh. Calcutta's having some issues. Oh, and it's this turn. Okay. Yeah, that's something. Come on. There we go. Come. Okay, no, I didn't lose anything there. Uh, War Elephant, I guess. Nice, we got Machu Picchu. Okay, so we're going to put our Ancient Cavalry in here. Uh, just in case it flips, we don't want to lose any War Elephants, because War Elephants are just... Superb units. And we're going to slowly push forward. And so while the Russians and the Portuguese are fighting each other, we're going to be fighting. Okay, I, I just need to like keep an eye, make sure there's no like Portuguese cavalry waiting to take Barcelona and send all my cities into civil disorder when I lose those dies. That's not something that we want to happen. Uh, does England have any more gold? How about America? I'm counting on you, Arabia. <laughs> oh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of room for new cities around here. Again, kind of dangerous because of Portugal. It's worth pointing out that I don't actually have a military alliance against the Portuguese. So I can make peace whenever I want, it, whenever I want to. Uh, we'll do this. I don't know if that helps. This city doesn't is not coastal, so it can't even build an aqueduct. The city does have a barracks. And it's important to remember, we actually have the, the pyramids now. So we have a granary in every city. So that will really improve our economic development. Where did... Oh, I guess that makes sense. No, I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> okay, at least I... Where the fuck does the, those units keep on coming from? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, uh, the good news is I baited. His musketman out of the city. Oof. I think I can push forward here, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so the ones that are healing can stay and heal. But the best thing we can do to defend uh, Machu Picchu... Ah, oh, it's got the marketplace, too. That's great. The best thing we can do to defend Mar Machu Picchu is take more Incan cities and decrease the chance of a culture flip. So these units can actually come back to retake the city if they need to. And... Yeah, it's not like some of them, a lot of them don't need to heal. Like we can take this city without these ones that need to heal.
Should not be worried of them demanding dies from me, because that would prevent me from doing the the disconnect trick. I would just I don't think the Russians are gonna demand anything of me. How are they doing militarily? I'm strong to the Incans. I'm weak to the Russians. Okay, so they might demand stuff from me, but at least they're not going to get their ass kicked by the P Portuguese too hard. Holding out here. Yeah, everything looks good. If I really need to... Oh. <laughs> uh, if Barcelona flips, I'm pretty fucked. But <laughs> I guess we can deal with that. Okay, uh, do I want a rite of passage with them? I mean, I'm not going to declare war with them. Uh, I can't really think of many reasons they'd be wandering through my land. Yeah, let's just go for a rite of passage. Oh, oh well, we were expecting that. That is kind of a pain, though. Yeah, I probably that's a an oversight. England was at war with me, so they could have signed an alliance with the Russians against me. So I should have got England involved. Um Oh wow, the Russians took Huamanga. <laughs> Good for you, Russia. England's gonna die. Uh if not immediately, eventually. Ah. The part I'm most pissed about is my units didn't heal for the turn. Jesus. Oh, fuck off. Oh, my God. That's painful. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll march forward. Should be an easy city to take. Uh, just with our, us hemorrhaging those units, I'm worried about our ability to follow through and take out the rest of them. I really hope that city doesn't flip right now. That would be ridiculous. It is so far from the port. I can't believe that flipped in the first place. It is so far from the Portuguese capital. Maybe I should be building more culture buildings just to prevent ridiculous flips like that. Uh, let's, yeah, that will take five or six turns. Otherwise it'll take two and if the cities get, might flip, but okay, let's just, or I don't know. Yeah, let's keep looking. Uh, you know what? No, they took Huamanga. That's all we need to know. I'm content with that knowledge. I really wish this would end, though. <laughs> okay, so he's got three musketmen, all veterans. Oh, fuck. I forgot there's this downside to us being in uh, a rite of passage that she can just wander units through my land and I can't do shit about it. At least she's not declaring war. I think she's just using my road. She has a road straight north. No, she doesn't have a road straight north. huh? Uh, so the pathing must say that that's the fastest way to take. Okay, uh, let's... Can we slave this now? Ah, uh, come on.
Okay, well, that's good. We're getting rid of the city. Uh, a good city to get rid of, clearly. I do need more trebuchets. Sweet. <laughs> Got some American units in the mix over there. Huh? At least they're being handy. And maybe they'll tech a little faster uh, and have a little bit more gold to spare if they're getting rid of some of their units. And I'm not seeing too many Portuguese units, which I'm liking. This one might be hard to hold, though. Like, taking the city relieves some pressure off of... Uh... Like, it relieves some cultural pressure off of Machu Picchu. So the way it works is that for each city, for each square in my big fat cross, uh, that the, the big fat cross is all these nine tiles plus these three, these three, these three, and these three. So for each tile that the Incans control within that big fat cross, the city becomes much more likely to flip over to the Incans. So because it's zero now, uh, I should be a little bit better off there. Same thing with Barcelona. I haven't had any issues since taking Machu Picchu. So taking Olante Tambo reduces the cultural boundaries of the Incans. It gets rid of these squares over here, and it makes it easier to hold this city. But then, of course, Olante Tambo can flip. So it's complicated. Huh, oh, this actually needs to be done, apparently. So yeah, I'm wondering what we do from here. Like, if we take Kori Huayarichina, Kori Huayarichina. If we take Kori, Kori, <laughs> Uh, we still don't have Vilkas, and these two cities are both liable to flip. If we take Vilkas, same thing. Cuzco uh, would be nice, I guess, for the wonder. Honestly, if I could just get the furs, I'd be fine with anything here. As long as the Incans die, because if the Incans die, then obviously my cities can't flip to them anymore. Oh, that's perfect timing. Yeah. I think that will actually help a lot. Oh, I guess we have to remember that every city we lose is more war weariness. Okay, let's buy some more luxuries. Oh, she doesn't have saltpeter. Oh boy, do I have a deal for you then. Yeah, me and Russia, best buddies forever. I don't know how she lost her saltpeter. That's worrying me a bit. I should check on that. I guess maybe she was getting it from the, the Portuguese as an import or something. Who knows? Anyway, I don't. I can stay in this era for a while. I don't need to go for physics for a while. It would be nice to have steam power and nationalism, but I'm fine. In fact, I probably want to switch governments before I, I transition into the next phase of the game. And before I switch governments, I'm going to want to get out of my golden age. Okay, I got to be keeping my elephants guarding my trebuchets. <laughs> Oh, this is a piss off. Get out of my way so I can go north. Uh, okay, I mean, Huamanga is controlled by the Russians somehow. Like, seriously, how, how are there Portuguese muskets over here, but you have a firm control over Huamanga for several turns? <laughs> I don't get it. 
Uh, but regardless, I could just take out the Portuguese, like just uh, Zerg rush them without the the elephants. Uh, I'm being blocked by a lot of different angles here, though. Yeah, okay, I, I gotta wait for someone to move, either this guy or this guy, or even this guy would help. <laughs> hmm. Do you only heal four hit points per turn with the barracks? I thought it was all you healed till full. Yeah, I think it should be healed till full. I wonder what happened there then. Uh, yeah, we need to heal anyway. Might as well. I, I don't like the idea of losing a war elephant, but if we move him, then he won't heal, so. Uh, so what did I decide? I want this guy putting down... I mean, since you guys aren't doing anything else, you might as well solve Jaipur's issues. Okay, next turn we got a lot of... Yeah, this should be plenty. This should be enough. I'm honestly just going to take this unit out of Olante Tambo since I am not confident that it won't flip. I wish I was more confident about this city. Uh, three more turns for Barcelona. Oh no, I can't even slave because the resistance hasn't ended. God damn. Ah, I should have held on to Temple of Artemis. Okay, clearly we need another happiness jolt. Okay, I think that solves most of our problems. Let's try to get one unit in here just so he doesn't have that temptation. <laughs> I know they like wandering into open capitals. Capitals specifically, they target uh, the AIs. Other open cities, they don't care as much. Ah, Russia expanded their borders here. Uh, did I just lose a stack of units there? I did. Holy fucking shit. Okay, now it's fucking personal, dude. <laughs> Taking my trebuchets. Got him back. Okay. <laughs> Valencia is mine. What a great development. Okay, uh, so we got out of the way here. Huh, England has not fallen yet. So if England's fine, then Russia is definitely fine. I, I, I'd be, if England just lost these cities, then I'd be okay with that. I don't want Russia, like I need Russia around to be a balance of power though, so. Uh, I could do a quick plant over there for some incense. Yeah, let's do that. Great. Now, this frees up a lot of military units to do useful shit, like go north. Yeah, it looks like most of our elephants got out. Okay. Sweet, this is developing pretty well. Now, if I really need to, I can disband war elephants to get some temples out. I think if I made peace with the Incans for whatever reason, then that's what I'd do. 
uh, but I'd obviously rather not do that. Let's start going for marketplaces. And courthouses. Yeah, we got the courthouse here. 20 turns, we should have the happiness issue figured out to a degree. Uh, I could just make peace with Portugal if I wanted to. Okay, I think I can do like trade glitches with Portugal, uh, but I'm I'm locked into the luxury resource thing with the Russians. So let's just add a solidarity. We'll stay at war with Portugal. Uh, I, who knows? Maybe if the Incans die soon, then we might need uh, to clean up the Portuguese ourselves or to start contributing to that war. Yeah, that's something that I thought would happen. I think I think you might be now too broke. Oh my god, as if Oh, there it is. Finally. <laughs> okay. Uh Okay, we can do a lot with that. If they get out of our way. <laughs> oh, they actually did get out of our way. Uh, out of one of our ways, at least. Okay, let's see the lay of the land here. Yeah, let's go straight for Cuzco. Oh, we could even put a city there. Be on a hill, so defensible would get us the incense. Yeah, um, we'll do this so we can... Like, I was considering what happens if we rush the Forbidden Palace. I know we're almost done in Bombay. But what happens if we rush it in Madrid, for example? Which would be a good Forbidden Palace city. Oh, that'd be actually a spectacular Forbidden Palace city. Hmm. Uh, I do think we want the Elephant Army to pillage. And then we can get Heroic Epic. Yeah, maybe we can do secret police HQ here or, or whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, so one thing I think we're going to do now is we're going to start... Uh, I know since these are Indian citizens, then abandoning it won't give us a diplomacy penalty with anybody else. Uh, but I'm wondering... If we abandon this, will it... Uh, I can't remember what I was going on. <laughs> will something bad happen? Oh, that's so low, too. All we need is the Russians out of the damn way. Okay, mine, but do not road. Oh, nice. Uh, resistance is almost done there, at least. Cusco is size 6. So we'll fall pretty soon. They also just don't have horses, I think, so they can't do anything sneaky to take my cities. Yeah, we'll, tr we'll try this plant there. An another plant here would be good to assert control over this area. 
So if we needed to attack the Portuguese later, we'd have a, a way of doing so. God, it's nice to finally have reinforcements for the first time in a <laughs> hundred years or whatever. Still no improvement here. Hmm. How long would it be for physics? Jesus. I know what that is. Did I just take another hit of war weariness? No, just Karachi's being weird. Uh, a few cities are being weird. That's the one we care about, though, and they're not being weird, so. Okay, we're just going to starve this one. No flip. Nice. Oh, sweet. Can we just... Oh, it's so close. I can see it. Oh, no, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I guess we need to do this. Holy shit. Okay. Um... We're going to do that, and then this. Am I at war with the English? I am at war with the English. <laughs> oh, good, I caught that. I wouldn't want to lose this to do the English. Uh, aside from it being bad for my war arena score, it's... Just shameful. Okay, those are not unfriendly units. I know, maybe two is the magic number for putting out resistance. Is happiness? Does happiness help, maybe? Is it the markets that's doing it? Uh, who knows? Okay, uh, so we do need heroic epic at some point. As soon as possible, but I'm not... They're more important to things to do in, in Delhi. Okay, we can finally... Get that hill. That'll be an upgrade for uh, Lahore. Oops. Okay, let's turn on animate battles. I want to see if I'm taking fights. Oh, that's over. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'm just glad I didn't lose any lose any units here. Like I attacked, but I retreated. So okay, there's absolutely nothing tying me into this war against the Incans. Yeah, let's let's take a look at this. Do I have any military alliances with anyone against anyone? No, I don't. Hmm. Sweet. Come on, let's do this. Don't make me commit my army to this. Oh my god, come on. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, yeah, I'll try with this elephant, because if I don't, then I have to use the army. And if I lose the army, I'm going to lose these elephants, but uh, I guess I need to. Even at the trebuchet, landed its hit. What the fuck, dude? Okay. 
Uh, I don't want to take a diplomatic hit. I still would like the option of winning a diplomatic victory here. So. Oh, that's an Incan settler. Oh, that's dangerous. So because the settler is culturally Incans, then the city is likely to flip to the Incans. Let's get rid of that while we can. So yeah, if we wanted to... Oh, our golden age is over. Fuck. <laughs> if we wanted to, we could make peace with the Incans. Uh, that would make our cities less likely to flip. But if they did flip, then we can't take them back. Looks like the Portuguese got Huamanga. I mean, we can make peace with Portugal, no problem. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I think we should be glad we can get a white piece from them, I guess. Okay, we got updated roads. Uh, the roads aren't looking too good. Oh my god. <laughs> Keep on accidentally waiting with these elephants. Such a bizarre problem to be running into. <laughs> oh, I got one more trebuchet. Oh, no, nothing, I guess. Uh, this is the one city with the combat bonus. Yeah, I think I need the army for that. Incans and... Re okay, that's... Not great, but... Uh tolerable i guess heroic epic 13 turns that's not bad oh that was an intentional i guess we just have a random ass muskman in our civilization <laughs> oh fuck off england <laughs> you want concession Jesus. I can't believe that. <laughs> okay. Um. So we'll walk here and then we'll heal. Okay, we have peace with Portugal, uh, so we can just fortify this, and then we can retake it from the... Those fuckers clogging up my roads. Unbelievable. Is it doing that thing where it still says we have a golden age levels of shields? Yeah, it's not actually going to take 13 turns. It's going to be more than that, but eh, still. It's pretty good. Uh, no, Bengal, I guess. <laughs> they deserve it. Oh, yeah, this will let us get our trebuchet to the party, too, so that'll be <laughs> marginally useful. 
Uh, and then if Cuzco's falls below size seven again, we can brute force it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I guess when you got a tech lead that big, you can do what you want. But <laughs> Oh, my army only has two elephants in it. <laughs> I thought it was full because elephants have so much health. God, I love elephants so much. Oh, wow. Are the Portuguese still fighting the Incans? Good for you, Portugal. Huh, and the Russians are still sieging Huamanga. Oh. Has this city always been raised? I think it has, yeah. I think the Russians raised it. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, we're not at war anymore, so I can't do shit about that. Uh, I don't have the movement to do anything about that. Maybe the Russians will kill it. Oh, nice. Good results from the trebuchets. I can't hope for a better try than this. Okay, we'll open with the army. Not happy about this, but yeah, that was shady. That's fine. Nice. Okay, this is going pretty good. I think he's been attacking my fucking war elephants though i remember the stack being a lot bigger yeah oh nice two catapults I mean, I did just straight up have enough elephants over here. <laughs> okay, uh, Cuzco for the Wonders, then Tijuanaku for... Ooh, nice. Oh, if I got Metallurgy, I can get Cannons. Anyway, Tijuanaku for the, the Furs. And we're done. Oh, and that kills them completely and removes the chance of any culture flip. Wow, I'm broke now that the Golden Age ended. Uh, but I'm not paying unit support, so whatever. Oh, yeah, I think I wanted to... I don't know. What are the consequences to abandoning the city? Oh, I could do a worker disband. Yeah, I'll do that later. Oh, let's do a settler disband, actually. Yeah, I'll show you guys how that works. We don't need Indus for anything, do we? No. Yeah, it's just like it's five turns away from our capital, so it's just clogging up our corruption. Uh, so to do a worker or a settler disband, this is a really advanced technique. I didn't even know this existed. Because I play with this stuff turned off. I play with... Um, What's the one? Disable population limit warnings. Yeah. I think so. Uh, it's the domestic advisor pop-up that says, oh, you don't have enough population to build a settler or a worker. Do you want to? Yeah, and then the domestic advisor asks you, do you want to 
wait till the city grows? Do you want to switch production or do you want to abandon the city? And if you say yes, you abandon the city, then it's possible to actually abandon the city and get a seller out of it. <laughs> Sorry for doing the domestic advisor voice. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just make sure that's there's nothing else that like... Yeah, I can't think of anything else that it would be. It must be that. <laughs> Did they make peace or something? Maybe they got Huamanga in the peace deal or something. I'll have to check. No, they are very much at war. Good for you, England. You're doing a good job. Uh, you lost Warwick, though. That's not so much of a good job, but good for you. Look at the Arabs. My plan actually worked. It, they grew their cities. They're still broke as hell, but maybe they just use this as an, as an opportunity to build even more military units. I don't know. Okay, everybody walk the dinosaur, I guess. Lots of catapults. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> still, in, still in resistance. Okay, uh, it'd be helpful to get rid of Cusco. Wait. <laughs> Just so we don't get shafted. Okay, Portugal isn't even that close to a cultural victory. We're fine. They have 10 times our global culture. <laughs> okay, we might need to do something about them later, but uh, I think we're fine for now. No road this time. Sorry, buddy. Okay, we're going to have railroads before too long, hopefully, if we have... Do we have iron? We do need iron for railroads, so that's important to keep in mind. I'm sure we could get it from the Americans or someone. Yeah, there's plenty up here. That's fine. Ugh. That was the first turn I could possibly do that too, so that's that's rough. Abandon and dis. There it is, yeah, we just got a free fucking settler from the ruins. Isn't that so sick? That is a settler to spend. That's why you watch these YouTube videos, so you learn you learn stuff. Okay, uh, oh, I mean, I guess I'm happy he's pulling his musketmen out, or musketeers out of the city. Uh, this is the one we lost. Uh, oh, hmm. At least our army's still healed, because armies can heal in weird terrain. Yeah, let's go for Cuzco. I think I feel like Kronk from Emperor's New Groove, focusing so hard on Cuzco. These elephants are like poison for Cuzco. Cuzco is poison. The Cuzco, intended for poison. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I don't want this flipping to the Americans or something dumb, so let's watch out for that. Oh. Need to put down those resistors. Are there resistors in the city still, huh? I mean, hopefully they'll end when the once the war ends. That's the big one. Oh, that's another big one. Oh, uh, I mean, that means England's going to die. <laughs> okay, let's get a market here, since this is clearly an important city. And let's take Cuzco. Oh, looks like he only has two veteran. He might only, yeah, he only has two muskemen at all. Okay, our sacrificial lamb goes first. He can't become elite twice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have saltpeter anymore. That's the issue. Uh, he is still size five, which I don't like. But man, I love elephants so much. Fuck. <laughs> Dope. Okay, it's on. It's on. We're in the last stretch. Ah, oh, he's unhooking roads, that bastard. <laughs> At least he's not programmed... There, The AI isn't programmed to unhook roads that's not in your train, even if you benefit from them. So this road, for example. It will be in my train soon, but until then, they won't pillage it. So how kind of them. Actually, we can do that. And they'll just disappear completely once they... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, it looks like it's going to be one more turn at least. Uh, I guess we just keep our guys... What happens if we disband our? Oh, finally, Jesus! How much? How many shields do we get from disbanding? Uh, one of these guys. Ten. Hmm. Fascinating. I didn't know. Nice, nice. So, cities close to your capital make your other core cities more corrupt. Cities far away from your capital, well, everything up here is super corrupt anyway. It'll make the cities that are equally far or farther away more corrupt. But who cares, because those cities are already, like, 10 out of 10 corruption. <laughs> so that's why I'm disbanding cities. Uh, Punjab, we could actually disband too. And so, for example, that might make Madras less corrupt and cities like Madras. We'll see if I can show that actually happening. Ooh. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, we get one for free. So what I mean by that is, like, the army is guaranteed to kill uh, Muscomen here. Oh, yeah, we have a lot there. Yeah, we should be able to take it. We might lose a few elephants, but if it gets peace a turn earlier, that's worth it. Oh, nice. Finally some good RNG. I mean, we might have been getting it earlier, but I just didn't notice. Anyway, there that's it. We just conquered a sieve outright. A big sieve, too, on sieve difficulty. Good for us. I'm very proud of what we've accomplished today, fam. So, 
Uh, I think that should settle things. Let's we'll call that a wrap up of the part. I'll do like in between this part and the next part, I'll do some uh, some micromanagement and things like that. And let's see how that affects our happiness. Oh my god. Jesus. We get the furs too, so that's like an extra boost to happiness. Plus, uh, a lot of those cities were just unhappy because they're, they're Incan citizens and the Incan citizens are mad that I'm at war with the Incans. Not anymore. We're good. So, I want a city here. Uh, we got the city here. That's what we wanted. Uh, let's expand these borders before Huamanga can do that. So the Russians actually got Huamanga off of the Portuguese. Like, the deal is done because they're at peace now. The Portuguese got Nottingham, and they're probably going to... Yeah, so it wasn't even that much of a profitable exchange for the Portuguese, this war. And as long as the Russians are getting stronger, that's the important part, too. Because if the Russians get stronger and the Portuguese are getting stronger, then they're going to be able to compete with the Portuguese. Uh, if it's just the Portuguese alone getting stronger, that would be more concerning, or if the w Russians were getting weaker. The other thing is, obviously, I'm getting stronger throughout all of this. That was just a massive distraction tactic to fuck up the the Incans. And not to mention, I might have forced... Yeah, I forced the Portuguese into monarchy. Not even fascism or communism, because they didn't even have that yet. I forced them into monarchy, so that will slow down their tech progress. And the Russians... Okay, they still don't have... physics are the russians in yeah the russians are also in monarchy uh, america's a republic england's a republic oh wow there must be having a, a tough time <laughs> god oh the arabs are a monarchy that's even worse for unit support because they're getting instead of 16 free units plus the the sit level bonuses they're only getting uh Eight free <laughs> units. <laughs> That's rough. Anyway, I like my shape, the shape of my... I control the entire West Coast. This is a very satisfying... I control almost the entire West Coast. Realistically, that's not going to change ever. I don't really plan on dealing with the Americans at all. <laughs> but uh, I might do something against the Russians or the Portuguese next part. Eh, actually, next part's probably just going to be a preparation. But I'll let you guys see you then. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, win on Sid India 5? I think it was 5. Anyway, see you guys.